Hi everyone, we just wanted to pop on and wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope that you've been able to spend the holidays with your family and friends and loved ones. It's New Year's Eve. We are currently in the midst of preparations to have some friends over to bring in 2023. We certainly hope that everybody's had a wonderful festive season and that they all have a great start to the new year. In the meantime, then we've got some um, exciting things to announce. Sorry it's been so long since we've seen you all. We just kind of wanted a little bit of a break over the festive season, much like I'm sure all of you too. It was much needed and deserved. We got to a point where things got really busy and so we kind of decided when it came to the festive season that we just wanted to take some time to spend with our family, with our friends, and so we decided that we're going to just take a bit of a momentary break from filming um, with a view to just recharging the batteries so that we can really get going in the new year. With that then, we got a couple of exciting toys. Uh, so the first thing is that we are currently shooting this on an all new gimbal so hopefully for any of those kind of unsteady shots or anything like that then hopefully that will sort that out. We also heard you uh, in the comments about the sound quality of videos so we actually have two microphones that I believe connect to our phones and then also to our bodies and work via Bluetooth. So hopefully that should improve the sound quality, especially when it's windy outside or noisy somewhere too. Yeah, I also received a new bag. So it's a wheelie bag. So it's a carry-on, but also has straps. So it can either just be a wheelie carry-on or it can be a rucksack. So that should help with all things to do with baggage. It means we don't have to pay extra on baggage fees, have to deal with baggage reclaim or anything like that. So it should make traveling a lot easier. Thank you, Sue and Dave. Indeed. Thanks, Mum and Dad. So as for content in the new year, we're hoping to give you some more insight into our lives, what our life looks like here in Toronto. On top of that, because we have lived here for a while, then we have built up a decent compendium of places that we like to go. And we'd love to share that with you. Uh, not many people necessarily know too much about the city and where to go. So we've got a few spots that we would love to share with you. So that will be coming up as well. But most importantly, we have a big announcement for what we have coming up in 2023. So let us give you a little background on how this came to be. <laughs> so just after we had moved in, on one night we went to a bar called Death and Taxes and we were having some drinks, just having a little date night, but we weren't too inspired by the food there. So we ended up walking back to our building and there's like a nice little park area in front and the weather was gorgeous because it was summer and Nick suggested this great little pizza spot and I had a hankering for, was it Craig's Cookies? Uh, no, no, it was, it was the baker. Night Baker. However, two good recommendations that we might revisit in another video, Craig's Cookies and the Night Baker. So while well, Nick went and picked up the pizza, which was incredible, I ordered the cookies from the Night Baker and we got to talking. At that point, we then started realizing through just talking about like hopes, dreams, fears, all of that kind of stuff that actually one of the main things that we both really connected on um, and always have has been a genuine curiosity about the world and being able to see more and travel more and do more. So with that, then we cooked up a bit of an idea. We thought about this crazy idea to take a year off and travel around the whole world. And Nick's reaction was, sounds like an amazing idea. Let's revisit this in the morning when the alcohol has worn off. And it turns out, as soon as we woke up, we talked about it and it still sounded like a great idea. So that's when we started really trying to see what we can do to put things in motion. Yeah, there were a lot of nuts and bolts to work out and practicalities because this isn't something that we could do spur of the moment. So from June 2021, to April 2023 when we're going to be leaving. That's almost two years. 
that's a lot of thought we've put into this and a lot of planning. And now our dream is coming true. Absolutely. So we have flights booked. We are going to be heading out in mid-April. We're going to be going home uh, to England. Well, home for both of us, really. Uh, Rachel's got some family in London. I've got some family just outside of London. Uh, so we're going to be spending some time catching up with them. Uh, that's also going to include a wedding for one of my best friends. And then once all of that is over and done with, then the intention is to fly straight into continental Europe and go from there. So I am a physiotherapist. And I work for a tech company currently. So in three months time, exactly 14 weeks for me, I will be packing up my own business because I'm self-employed so that we can travel the world for a year. Yep, and I have already put my company on notice of the fact that I'm going to be leaving on the 31st of March as well. And that is then with a view to having a couple of weeks to just try and get any last minute logistical stuff all sorted out before we then head over. So mid-April, we will be heading over to England to spend time with our family and friends before we go off on our grand adventure. And then from there, then first stop is Italy. And then we have a great number of countries that we would also like to visit thereafter. Now, Nick has never been to Italy. However, I've been fortunate enough to go twice, but I'm really looking forward to showing you around and going back myself, of course. I can't wait for the food, especially carbonara <laughs> <laughs> and, and some excited. good wine. And I'm just excited for all of it, honestly. People have often told me that it's basically my dream country. What with all the history, lovely people, beautiful culture and language, um, and of course, the food and drink. I just have visions of us sitting like in a park, enjoying some wine and some food that we've got from the grocery store, traditional food hopefully, because when you're traveling for a year, you need a budget. So we have set ourselves a budget of approximately 100 Canadian dollars a day. There will be some countries where of course we have to go over, but hopefully there's other countries where we can make up for this and spend a little less than that every day. And based on that budget, then we're hoping to make that stretch across what is currently quite a loose itinerary, but it's going to include Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Turkey, Egypt, Jordan, the UAE, including Dubai, Oman, India, Sri Lanka, South Korea, Hong Kong, all of Southeast Asia from Vietnam all the way down to Singapore, we're hoping to do that overland, Australia, New Zealand, various parts of South America, various parts of Central America, and then eventually find our way back to Canada. Now, as Nick said, that's a very loose itinerary because some countries may be added to that. We may choose not to visit others once we've talked to other travelers. That's the great thing about the style of travel that we're gonna do is we're gonna meet so many incredible people along the way who we can possibly travel with to the next city or who will have been somewhere that we're planning to go, who have recommendations, or maybe they suggest something new that we hadn't considered, or kind of maybe turn us off something that they don't think is quite worth it. So our schedule is going to be very flexible. So you're probably wondering how we're going to be able to afford this. Well, that is um, another thing that we do plan on revealing in a future video. There's going to be some aspects of budgeting, but some aspects of some other little known tips and tricks that are going to get us over the line. So we will be happy to share all of those with you. While we do obviously want to take this experience for ourselves, the fact is we do also believe that travel should be something that everybody, if they want to, should get to experience. So with that, any tips, tricks, anything like that, that we can provide to you along the way, we are happy to give that out to you. So we will continue to drop little tidbits of information here and there in all future videos. Little tidbits of information as we learn them. And also if you are an experienced traveler and have tips for us on where to go in any of the countries that we've mentioned, 
or you think that we should go to a country that we didn't mention, or you have budgeting tips for when you're traveling, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below as we're also learning along this journey ourselves. Absolutely. While Google will help, it will only get us so far. So especially when it comes to places to see, things to eat, special dishes that maybe we haven't heard of, or just out there things that maybe we wouldn't be able to experience anywhere else. Also let us know, either through the comments in our videos or on our Instagram. Uh, we're always open to that. So part of our plan is to document our year-long trip abroad. We'll be taking you along for the journey, showing you all of the places that we go to, hopefully sharing about some of the history and culture that we experience, and showing you all of the yummy eats that we find along the way, the pretty scenery, the people we meet. We're really excited to bring you along with us on this journey. But I think that's pretty much about it. All further details will be relayed in the future. So in the meantime, take care. And keep smiling. Oh, Dante, no, no. Buddy. Hey. He's going to... So the other thing that you're probably wondering is how are we intending on affording all of this? Well, alongside the stringent budgeting that we're hoping to do, then we are also planning on doing a little bit of travel hacking to get us out there. Dante, say hello. Say hello to the people. The public Dante. Oh, there you, there are. you are. Hey, buddy. Such a pretty boy. Hello. Oh. We're gonna miss you. Yes, we are. Miss this you. is our foster cat, Dante. Who will be definitely featured in one of our next videos coming up. And if you are an experienced cat owner with no children and no other pets and would like to either foster or adopt him and live in the Toronto area, let us know. We'll put you in touch with the Etobicoke Humane Society. We want to find this little boy a good home. Yes. By the way, we foster him. He's not ours. Mm -hmm. We're not just giving him up. Don't worry. If we were not going on this trip, we would keep you. 